First of all, I'm very grateful to be in Ireland and one of the most amazing countries, 800 years of occupation. Who says that, right? Who recognizes independence and the value of the people and the, the social justice, really, um, and the freedom to be able to choose both our avenues of what we identify as freedom and how we treat our bodies and one another. So, and I, I believe the nexus of that is our relationship to nature. So cannabis is a, a plant, of course, that we find many uh, uses for and great value. And I think it is also, if, if it is a gateway to anything, it's a gateway to these two things, both consciousness and the ability to heal ourselves through many different ways that we don't really create a specific um, pill or form, formulary that applies to healing, but that we offer an opportunity for people to heal ourselves. And that's what I believe is really one of the most important things. And the other piece, of course, is that how it interfaces with the rest of nature, that we live in a, a, we're a complex set of systems living in a complex world that of nature and how we interface with it, both preserve it and learn from our relationship. And what do you think are kind of the big misconceptions that people have when we kind of have these discussions about legalizing cannabis? Um, I, I think rather than, there are many misconceptions and they apply to everything. But I rather think that the challenge is to maintain a, the humanist piece of it. The way that, that uh, we build regulation so that it allows for people to come together to utilize and uh, explore our relationship with nature and phytotherapies. So cannabis as a part of a healing uh, modality with other plant medicines or phytotherapies. So I think that there, there's a danger in giving away our power to accept that, other, that others can create medicines and the only way that we can interface with them is by going somewhere else to buy them, to procure them. And what I mean specifically is that threat of big business. We do need to have, and it's imperative to have medicines that are available for all people and accessible by all people. But uh, the idea of commerce and how it has taken the individual and small business out of the, or, or threatens to take the individual and small business opportunities away is, a, is a, a really a grand threat and I and I think it's very important for us to look at really the bigger picture small farmers mom-and-pop businesses the opportunities for us as individuals to become part of a greater scheme of both personal healing and individualized application for healing so I'm not going to create or no one can create a single uh, medicine, something in a capsule that will serve or eliminate illness, will heal. We have the opportunity instead to be partners, to join in a, in a discovery of both self-awareness and our relationship to nature. And I think that, you know, it's not to cook it down to be, I'm not anti-pharmaceutical, uh, but I see a danger in commerce removing the opportunity of the individual. And what did you kind of enjoy about today? I mean, what was nice about having an event like this? You know, there were so many speakers there, loads of people from loads of different walks of life saying loads of different things. What was the enjoyable part for you? Uh, both the things that we agree on and the parts that we find are divisive, right? So, because really the most important questions are the ones we haven't even thought of to ask. And the answers lay really within our communication and our ability to draw uh, a, a, a connection between what's similar, simpatico, between all of us, the ways that we're the same. There's human suffering, which all of us would love to be participate in reducing. And at the same time, being certain that we don't create more suffering.